Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Ready. My name is Cordant. We are back for some Go. more Icewind Dale. We are exploring Dorn's Deep. We have just finished killing the evil lich in the last episode, destroying his phylactery. And he was actually a bit of an underwhelming fight. Right. I was kind of expecting more spell slinging on his part, but he kind of just killed over. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we got the key for the pass. You weren't here before. Uh, whatever, I was saying. We got the key for the passage to Worm's Tooth. So that's what we're going to be doing now. And <clears throat> checking out what this has for us. Four bronze sentries. Have I seen a bronze sentry before? Is the question. Can they be damaged? What is it? By what normal arrows, I yes, it shall be done. Ooh, they're quick. No, they are immune really to arrows now. as expected. You have my undivided attention. Or to normal arrows, I should say. Should say. Um. Done and so ready to do it. You four to going to my left. A little fire and lightning Would should light so A little fire and lightning. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Patricia, live. Live, lady. Ready. She's fine, she's fine. She's fine. Okay, 5,000 experience per kill. Alright, a bit of damage, but it's okay. Um, here I go. One thing I can actually try out here is since we picked up this item, which regenerates HP once per turn, <clears throat> uh, maybe if we are gonna what ah, if we're gonna go on a journey, she I'm can here. heal, and I don't need to spend no any healing on her. That would be cool. Except if I forget to re-equip her item. <laughs> Fighting their way through the Aurogs in the upper chambers, the party descended deeper into the bowels of the Dwarven stronghold. Gradually, the hewn passageway transitioned from stone to ice, as if the dwarves had run out of room within the mountain and had expanded their tunnels into the adjoining glacier. Icy blasts of wind whipped through the passage as it wound its way through the glacier and out onto the frozen surface above. Whipped. <laughs> okay, so we're you starting our ability. journey with some frost rolls. I didn't get any mm -hmm. time to heal. Oh. Greater ice trolls and the snow troll. I await your instructions. I'm actually gonna <clears throat> make sure that we heal what? Patricia a bit here. And I... Corgan can go fight yeah. and hopefully my arrows can pierce What's it to be? the trolls? At your sir. It shall be Okay, they do. She can go fight. I suppose I got some time to kill. Ah, damn! Already taking damage. Ready. I should sleep. What is it? Okay, they're they're, they're kind of weaklings. <clears throat> Do I need fire for this guy? Looks like I'm gonna have to go I do indeed. I do indeed. So I I do have fire over here. Cool. I'm ready to do adventure. Little fire and lightning. Bye. I'm here. Have at thee. Have at thee. Ooh. Hmm. Money. Okay. I split your okay. toes. Some yes. more snow gold. That's okay. I wish I had a flaming axe or a flaming hammer or something. A flaming weapon. Yeah. 
so as to not have to worry about spending fire arrows. I suppose I got some time to kill. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Okay. What is it you require? I'm here. Okay, uh, there are some dead people here. Easy as goblin pie. Okay, so more trolls. But they don't have a direct path towards me. Uh, this this smells like an ambush. Can I go up there? No. You gotta fight down here. I don't want Patricia in the f As in the wish. front. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Have at thee. Have at thee. It shall be done. No trolls. Don't care about those. Oh, I do care about those because I have to to use fire on them. Yeah. Oh, a little fire and lightning should light with ease. Uh, near death. Let's just wait. Uh-huh. With ease. What's it to be? What do you need now? Oh, come on. I'm ready to do adventuring. I got you. Okay. Come on, man, die. Jesus. Finally. Okay. Um. What is it you require? Just picking up some jewelry here. There's a bridge. Okay. Where does this bridge lead and is it trapped? These are the questions in my mind. Ah, never mind. The bridge is in, uh, is in poor shape and may collapse. You cannot cross it. Well, that's one decision I don't have to make. Where are we going? Get in! Ready. Hello. I very well. Yeah. Ready. Take an axe. More axes. <laughs> At your service. A lot of jewelry now. Hmm? Not a problem. Not a problem. Let's explore this lower area first. There is nothing here. Oh, a door. Cool. Another door. Little fire and lightning. Okay. Fine. Ow. Let's go up first. Let's go. Some fireballs would be awesome for this place, right? <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Dude, are they are they dead tanky or do they just take some time to fall down? I suppose I got some time to kill. I think it's the latter. I got you. What is it you were doing? What do you need okay. now? Hmm? What's it to be? I'm ready to do it. At your service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm? I. Okay. Watch me go. 
So what do we have? And by the way, can I, I can I heal you a little bit more? You're, you're practically without healing. Vita. Mortis. Vita. Mortis. Getting to do this, I don't know why. In Baldur's Gate, this, this, this doesn't happen to me. Watch me go. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the Yeti pelts because they are not worth anything. This true power. I see. Is that all? Okay. At your service. I. Come then. Let us begin. Immediately. A little fire and lightning should light you. Oh. Little Ready. fire and. Ah, I'll shut up. I I just like the voice line. Yeah. Shall we go? Uh, what is it you require? Hmm? I... Pretty simple stuff so far. I will at, as see. best I can. As best I can. I suppose mm -hmm. I got some I time like to that sound. Right. Right Two thousand experience per enemy right now is pretty good. Let's get the tech illusions all leveled up, and then. I think this went up because he got an extra dexterity point. It's actually funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go for set traps. Ready, not because we have invisibility spells. I don't really need to rely on stealth. Or I should say on his stealth. Yeah, as you wish. Dive! Right here. Not a problem. What is it you require? There's a lot of them. This one was only worth 1,000 like because he's a simple yeti, I suppose. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready, go. Gotta go all the way around. So there's no point to this upper area unless there's a tunnel over here, a passageway. Don't kill my backline. Thank you. Hmm. I'm here. Is that all? Okay, so. I guess it's just part of the scenery and they just filled it in with some yetis. Because it, it serves no purpose to go up there. It doesn't need to, but you know. Okay. So we have an entrance up there. We have a bridge we cannot cross. We have a door over here and a door over there. And I'm intentionally not reading the names on the map. Because I don't want to spoil myself as to what those places actually are. To the pain, man. Come on, man. Fall down. Thank you. That's one down. Now. Are you guys dead? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay. I suppose I got some time to kill. What is it? Wonderful stuff. Mm -hmm. Right then. Right then. More dead people. More snow trolls. Die. Uh, don't waste your arrows, please. They're not, yeah, not to do that's it. I'm ready to do adventuring. Stuff. Right. He's Die. down. Yeah. I split a toe. Ready. Okay. I'm here. Watch me go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that all? I need a merchant. Yes. I done. 
I'm sure most of these gems don't actually aren't actually worth any money, but at this point, since I've picked a few up, I'm gonna pick all of them up. <laughs> at your service. I suppose I got some time to kill. Nah, you should be falling down rather Just soon. I know the routine. Okay. Show me a target, and I'll smash you. Mm -hmm. Ready. Okay. So put this here. I keep forgetting I have this thing. Okay, not bad. No space. Okay, go in there. Actually, actually, I should have done this a long time ago, but I keep forgetting. Ah, much better. Okay. I'm here, Jordan. So, we are faced with three doors, and there's a door over there as well. Are these trapped, Jan Janssen? Let's see. They do not look to be trapped. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. Let me heal Vicky. Nice use of my okay. helmet. Here I go. Okay, so this is open. I wonder if these all lead into the same area. Since you know they're all pointing the same direction. Okay. Hmm? Let's go left. Watch me go. Ready. Very suspicious. With ease. This niche holds a statue of a male dwarf holding a workman's hammer. At the base of the statue is a plaque proclaiming him as Dugmaren Brightmantle, the Tinkerer. All right. I, I can do that with my eyes closed. The area doesn't look trapped. Right, easy as goblin pie. <laughs> to be. <coughs> so far, right? <laughs> this cannot be opened. I'm here. I... Okay, let's check left. Slaves. All what right. As you wish. Hello, slaves. What you doing? This reading table is cluttered with notes and open books. Someone has been studying here. My name is Soth. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, <laughs> may I ask you some questions? Certainly. What do you want to know? Uh, what you doing here? Well, I fancy myself to be a bit of a scholar. So I'm trying to go through some of these books and learn a bit about this place. Have you had any luck? Yep, it's hard reading, but I've pieced a few things together. What have you learned? It seems that the entire complex is a temple dedicated to Dugmar and Brightmantle. Okay, so the guy with the statue outside. I am not familiar with that name. Who is he? From what I can gather, he is the Dwarven God of Scholars, Inventors and Explorers. He's not well known and frowned upon by some of the other gods. They consider him to be a bit whimsical, I guess you'd say. Anyway, Dugmaren felt that the Dwarves should get out and explore the world more. Okay, so we talked to a scholar named Soth. He says that the Wormstooth buildings are a temple complex dedicated to Dugmaren Brightmantle. The Dwarven God of Scholars and Explorers. I see. Uh, what else can you tell me about this place? A brilliant architect known as Alconos the Visionary built this complex. He was a devout follower of Dugmaran and took offense that his deity had no formal temple. So, he petitioned the king and was granted permission to construct one. During the construction, he became known as Alconos the Mad. Why did they call him that? Uh, well... Apparently, most of the dwarves wanted to just bore a tunnel through his glacier and build a small temple in the mountain on the other side. Alconos would hear nothing of it. Instead, he began construction of a grandiose scale. And here is the result. Okay, so if the dwarves thought him mad, why did, that, why did they not stop him? 
Oh, they tried. Now, I may not have the lineage exactly right, but it appears that Alconos was related to the king at the time. He was either a nephew or a cousin, I don't know which. In any case, the king couldn't admit that one of his relatives was a brick shy upstairs. <laughs> he was a brick shy upstairs. It would be a bad reflection on him. <clears throat> Interesting. Let me ask you something else. Um, have you ex... Oh, I forgot to give the book to the guy in Kaldahar. Did I drop the book? <clears throat> I hope not. Have you examined most of the books here? Yes, I have. It didn't take as long as you would think because most of them are so damaged as to be unreadable. It's a shame too because the few that are readable are excellent works on Dwarven engineering. Uh, he says they are works... To, okay. There is a rope bridge near here in danger of collapsing. Could I learn to repair it using some of the books here? Ooh. I don't rightly... Oh god, that's a lot of experience just by talking. I don't rightly know. I suppose it's worth a try though. Let me see. Bridges. Yes. Here you go. This one covers the basics of suspension and such. Good luck. Uh, the scholar Soth gave us a book on our engineering. With it, we hope to repair the rope bridge that spans the southwest chasm. You received the book on how to fix the worm's bridge. Cool. Uh, thank you. And uh, that's it. Farewell for now. At your service. So I have the book. This ancient work is a treatise on dwarven engineering techniques, although it is written entirely in the dwarven language. Someone has inserted tentative notes in several places throughout the book. This particular volume contains a detailed analysis on the construction of suspension bridges. So be it. Okay, so <clears throat> why do we have a scholar and then slaves? I don't know who you are, but stay away from me. Okay. This central location appears to have been a meeting area. The furnishings are still in good condition, but a bit cold to the touch. Okay, so slave, 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 slave. Gareth. Okay. And a note to Kerish. Kerish. Craig Frostbeard is dead, no thanks to you, and I now hold his badge of office. I, Jordal Frostbeard, am now numbered among the six chosen of the Master. Once my plans have come to bear fruit, I will have access to the Master himself. You would do well to remember that from this day forward... Ah, you will remember, uh, do well to remember that from this day forward, worm. Also know that your lack of aid has not gone unnoticed. Only your silence in not reporting this to the Master has kept you alive. When the time is right, I will tell the Master that I have taken my father's throne. Until then, you will remain silent or you will die. Those walls you hide behind will not save you from my wrath. Betray me and I will crumble them about you and crush the life from you. Jorl. Okay. Uh, Gareth. So, uh, hmm? is that all? my party here. As you wish. Are you a merchant, Gareth? Greetings, I am Gareth. Oh my, you are armed and armored. Have you come to return us to slavery? No, I'm not here to enslave you. Thank the gods. Then perhaps you would agree to help us. We are in a desperate situation. What's wrong? The people you see here are all slaves. Recently we escaped our masters and fled here to this room. Who enslaved you? I believe they are called Frost Salamanders. They have humanoid torsos, reptilian heads and serpentine tails. They have an aura of cold about them and seem to thrive here in the glacier. We met a man named Gareth who claims to be an escaped slave of a group of Frost Salamanders. Okay. I see. So, how did you manage your escape? That is a long tale. Will you listen? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Please begin. Very well. We were held captive in the building directly above this one. It appears to be some sort of museum. There are numerous display cases showing specimens of aquatic life, all of which have succumbed to the cold of the glacier and frozen solid. 
Wait, if your former masters are so close, why do they not just come and get you? The temperature here is hot enough to cause them pain, and thus they shun this place. Okay, so maybe I can use warmth to defeat the, <coughs> the frost salamanders. According to Garrett, frost salamanders are sensitive to heat. Perhaps we could use this knowledge again. Okay, <laughs> so just my thoughts. Okay, uh, I see. Go on. There was one room within the museum the salamanders avoided, and we were ordered never to enter there. So, naturally, we began to wonder why. We did our best to try and sneak in to see what it was the salamanders feared, but with little success. Finally, a woman named Vera managed to do it. Okay, and what did she find there? Ancient machinery. Really old stuff, most of it in ruin. However, there was one device that emitted a soft glow and warmth. Vera realized that the warmth must be why the salamanders avoided the area. She also concluded that this place of the museum had not always been frozen. Perhaps this machinery was what kept the cold at bay in the past. Ah, interesting conclusion. Please continue. Vera felt that this was a chance of a lifetime. There was no way to know if either she or anyone else would ever gain access to this room. Um, again. <laughs> so she decided to take action. She began to fiddle with dials and knobs until suddenly an indicator began to pulse with a steady light. At once the room filled with a warm glow and the hum of power. Quietly, she returned to tell us of her discovery. <clears throat> I see. So what happened next? At first, nothing. For days we waited, always expecting the temperature to rise, but it never did. We had finally given up hope when, just yesterday, a commotion started and the salamanders fled this room in a flurry of confusion. Vera saw this as our one chance at freedom. We could not allow the salamanders time to reorganize and cut off our access to this room. So she yelled for all of us to run to the stairs that led here. Many died in the attempt. We are the few who survived. If only Vera were here. Eh, she died as well. Uh, we have learned that Slade is a woman named Vera. Well done. Now, what is this desperate situation you said you were in? No, we not here. She did not escape with the rest of you. I am sorry, but no. Vida never made it down here with the rest of us. The last I saw, there was a wave of salamanders between her and the escape. I fear she is dead. But we don't know if she's dead. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Gareth. You mentioned being in a desperate situation. Can you tell me more about it? <laughs> I wonder what situation that is. <laughs> We have no food or water. We are in the heart of enemy lands. We will surely die if we stay here. The maddening thing is, we have discovered another exit that leads back to the surface. But it is locked. And we do not have the key. Wait, did I not just come from outside? I did. Huh? I, uh, uh. Can't they just come the same way I came? Uh, it's probably in the possession of the salamanders. I suppose this is where you asked me to risk life and limb to get this key for you. Yes, we believe that Kerish, their leader, has the key. Will you recover it for us? Ah, so Kerish was the guy mentioned in the letter. Okay. Hmm, yeah, I think I'll try to get this key for you. Your bravery and compassion are beyond compare. I do not know what to say other than thank you, which seems hardly enough under the circumstances. Please recover the, quick, the, the key quickly. Our fate is in your hands. Uh, so Gareth has asked us to retrieve a key. The key unlocks the door to the passage leading to the surface. He believes it is in the possession of the salamanders. We have agreed to do this. I will. Farewell for now. Okay, so this is pretty strange because, again, we just came from the outside, so... They have a way out. They're just not using it. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> okay. So, before I go up there and start a problem. murdering a bunch of salamanders... Actually, I'm not sure if this is the... If this... If this is the same building. You know, because they do mention a complex... And I'm guessing this is the building complex, and this is part of the same building. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start by fixing this bridge. 
then I'm gonna check this entrance and see what can be done about the salamanders. Maybe I'll rest before. We'll see. Hopefully, confusion, uh, I mean chaos, the chaos spell can be handy against salamanders. Uh, how, how do I exactly fix this? Ah, the bridge is in poor shape, but you managed to repair it using the engineering matter. Nice! 60,000 experience. Cool. So you can now pass, and where does this lead? Leads into a cave. Ready. Right. Watch me go. Okay, a bunch of winter wolves. Watch me go. Uh, no, over there. Yeah, as best I can. Ah! I got places to go. Okay. Nothing to special. I'm a busy man. I got places to go. Monsters to kill. <gasps> so winter wolf helps. They are fairly tanky. Easy as goblin pie. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of them. I shall see you to your grave. So There's a way through. Wait, I'm hearing spell casting. Right. Easy as ready. Is that all? Right? I think I was. Ooh. That's a that's a worm. Those are several worms. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yep. Time to start checking for traps here. <clears throat> this is a large area. Hmm, what is this? This shrine is constructed of human skulls. The body of a dead woman is draped across it. Okay, so this is not trapped. Ooh. <clears throat> I kind of recognize some of the symbols. And I like what I'm seeing. Okay, so I have a few slots. Right with it. it shall be done. Let's pick this stuff up. This stuff up. Ah, yes. There's the dead woman. Okay, so this is a potion of power. This is healing, whatever. Extra healing. Uh, honestly, do I have extra healing in here? Actually, I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning here. Infravision. I don't need you. Uh, yeah, I have eight potions of extra healing, which aren't doing anything in here. So, <clears throat> let's take these out. And I'm gonna give four to Corgan. Four to Patricia. Uh, okay, you can take it and these can come on you know what this is another potion for you to learn spells with which is awesome okay <clears throat> this icon is usually for gloves of dexterity <clears throat> it is not gauntlets of infernal damnation shroud of flame on the wearer god <laughs> this is <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just drop. Eh, I'm gonna take them in case I can gift something to an enemy. You know, there might be there may be some cool stuff mm -hmm. with that. Yes. Don't care about the ninja to uh, symbol pain. Last for eleven turns. So this way I can actually see what this does. All enemies within fifteen feet of the symbol of pain at the moment it is invoked must make a save versus spell. Those who fail their saving throws are all by pain, suffering a negative 4 penalty to their attack rolls, 2 to dexterity scores, and 2 to armor class. Okay, so now I know what it does. In Baldur's Gate, this is a cleric ring which allows you to cast one extra spell from level 1 to 4. Yes! <laughs> 
Can cast an exit peace spell of each level from first to fourth. Uh, oh, oops. Take this. Okay. Anything else here? No. Here I go. There is, however, some loot here. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if I'm gonna die, or if they're gonna turn hostile if I take it. Do you speak? Yes. Since yes. you have a name, you most definitely do. Hmm. What here? It not slave. <clears throat> it not giant. What it? What it is? What it wants? I will ask you some questions. Questions it has. Ask. Who are you? I am Frostbite. It not knows. Now it does. <laughs> Flawless logic. I see. Um, just what kind of creature are you? I Frostbite. Other names not have. No better names other than Frostbite. Your lair is littered with human bones. Why? Human. Food. Frostbite eats. Clan eats. You eat humans. Human health, no, not matters, all food. I see. <laughs> okay. I'm here, Jordan. I am going to reposition before I I, I give that answer. What's it to be? What is it you require? Mm -mm. Finally gonna use some Patricia powers here. Buffered up like God intended. And we are going to rest afterwards, so have a haste, my lover. Now, you were saying something, my friend. Well, that must come to an end. End? Not tell Frostbite end. It won't end. Frostbite gives it end. Die. So be it. Hmm? All righty then. So he's gonna have friends, That's right? Awesome. So it shall be done. what does it do? It dies. A little fire and lightning yeah. should light things up. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. indeed. I see. What you doing? Ready. I suppose I got some. Ready. Patricia, murder everything. I await your instructions. That drive by just smack. Move on. Atta girl. Get it. Yes. Is that all? More. Oh god. I'm ready to do it. Uh, oh, hmm? alright. I'm not so comfortable around those, but so far they yeah. don't seem to care that I'm yeah. killing them. <laughs> Possibly their pets. Okay, guys, ju just chill there. Ready. What is it you require? Just chill, you know. Because it's chilly. And I'm gonna move on to check out the loot. Of course. I don't think this is trapped, but you never knew. I have some space. This is still the note to Karish. Can I put this here? Yes, I can. Thank God. Okay. Yes, as you wish. Ooh. A lot of money. I don't remember fighting against Frost Giants. Oh, oh yes. <coughs> Oh yes, my friend. Give me the cool stuff. Longbow of marksmanship. It's <coughs> it's worse than all the others, man. Okay, whatever. You take it, just because you like those. Enchanted field plate. 
Oh, it's the same one I got before. Okay, that's always welcome. Bard stuff, who cares? Actually a pretty good item for a bard, let me tell you. Casting Emotion Courage. Very good. I can give this to you, you get a 3 AC bonus. But I do like this on her. I could give this to Corgan as well, right? Because this is the same, correct? Mithril field plate, armor plus two, bit of a okay, same thing. Corgan. What am I to do with you, my friend? So this is what's changing stuff here, right? AC Fire and cold resist. Uh, but it, it's hard to pass. We're gonna go from negative 6 to negative 8 AC. I don't think I can say no to this. Okay, well. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate at this point. I don't have anyone to give this to. Really? Jesus Christ. I don't. Uh, can't you? No, because of the of the hat or because of the armor? Because of the armor, it's enchanted. Okay. Uh, well, I guess... I guess you take it. This is kind of irrelevant in any case, so... Well, uh, no, only he can wear it. Okay. I Let's have a rest in go. this Wyrmler. I am encumbered, why? Ah, swords, okay. Possibly this also. I'm still carrying around the barrel of holy water. I don't know what this does. Ready. Let's rest. Oh. At your service. Long sword plus one. <clears throat> Long sword plus one. Underwhelming. Wait. Aren't these all? Long swords plus one. Of course they are. Uh, get this back in here. I'm doing this wrong, but it also works. Sure, okay. Let's rest. Ooh. I'm Hello. Here. Come then. Hmm? What's it to be? I am ready as always. Easy. Easy. Be gentle with that thing. <laughs> Man Murder. Okay, one more rest. It's enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we have some frost giant guards over here. I just want to explore this cave before we move on. Or in this case, we are gonna end the episode here before moving into that cave. Just gonna make my save here before I forget. This is 27. So yeah, a lot of places to explore in this area. It seems to be much more open than the previous ones. Um, but yeah, so we got stuff to see. Uh, both here and also outside. We have to free the slaves. There's the passage to the northeast. We gotta figure out what it means. Um, and I also need to go back to Kaldahar to give the... The wizard guide the book. I keep forgetting that. 
Um, but yeah, so as always, thank you for being here, guys. If you have any questions, any suggestions, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about future videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.